an Apollo astronaut suddenly becomes sick while on the moon. Jack Schmidt's symptoms are very concerning. His nasal passages get inflamed. He starts coughing. He's not in good shape. NASA struggles to identify the cause of the mystery illness. We didn't know what was on the surface. Could we bring back bugs that would contaminate the world? It could wipe out everybody on Earth. December 11th, 1972. The crew of Apollo 17 are about to become the last humans to land on another world. Harrison Jack Schmidt is tasked with guiding the module down to the lunar surface. You're uh, monitoring uh, the, the, the health of the spacecraft. It meant that you were continually ready for any kind of a situation that might develop. Schmidt and mission commander Eugene Cernan's primary objective is to collect rock samples for analysis back on Earth. Pretty hard, isn't it? That boat is going to roll. Let's see if I can't crack the uh, corner and get that contact. Not only is the clock ticking away, but you never know what's going to be around the next rock or in the bottom of the next crater or at the base of the next uh, high mountain. I'm going to get this thing out now that I got it. At 7 a.m. on December 12th, the two astronauts complete their first moonwalk and return to the lunar module. My golly, this time goes fast. But then Schmidt starts acting strangely. So as they're taking off their suits, Jack Schmidt starts having a reaction. They're unloading the samples and the rocks that they'd collected on the lunar surface, and suddenly Schmidt starts to feel uh, unwell. Schmidt is displaying strange flu-like symptoms and finding it increasingly difficult to breathe. It's come on pretty fast just since I came back. His nasal passages get inflamed. He starts coughing. I mean, he's really uncomfortable. He's not in good shape. Jack Schmidt's symptoms are very concerning. They come on suddenly. They're very severe. Mission Control races to identify the cause of the mystery illness. You cannot get sick in space. It can be a critical situation. Before looking at the possibility of an extraterrestrial disease, NASA must first consider whether Schmidt is simply having a reaction to a terrestrial virus or bacterium. But Apollo scientists and astronauts believe this is highly unlikely. Even before they leave the Earth to go to the moon, they're kept in quarantine. They're kept out of contact with any bugs. They just don't want to have them sick when they go to the moon. The interior of the spacecraft was probably as clean as an operating room. They made sure that everything was absolutely sterile. If the cause of Schmidt's strange space illness hasn't come from Earth, it must come from somewhere else. He was fine out roaming around the moon. But now he's reacting. It's got to be something he brought back into the capsule. It would have had to have been something that would have been really bad if it had occurred that quickly after his lunar exposure. The possibility that Schmidt has caught a disease on the moon echoes one of NASA's greatest fears about the Apollo missions. We didn't know what was on the surface. Could we bring back bugs that would contaminate the world? Who knows what's there? and uh, maybe we could make a lot of people on the planet sick. <laughs> for decades, scientists believed it was impossible for bacteria to exist on the moon. But three years before the Apollo 17 mission, analysis of a NASA camera left on the moon seemed to indicate that bacteria had survived inside it for over two and a half years. The discovery suggested that deadly organisms could indeed survive on the moon and travel to Earth. The possibility that microorganisms could remain alive on the surface of the moon for two and a half years is tremendously important to science. If these microorganisms lived on the moon for two and a half years, that supports this idea of how life could travel from one body to another in space. History offers fearsome examples of what can happen when alien bugs are carried to new worlds. 
During the 15th and 16th centuries, European explorers introduced virulent diseases to the Americas, killing countless indigenous people. A nightmare scenario would be the same thing happening when Jack Schmidt returns to Earth. The fear of bringing back an extraterrestrial bug back to Earth is that our immune systems would not be set up to deal with it. It could wipe out everybody on Earth. Whatever is wrong with Schmidt, NASA doesn't want it spreading. A clue to the cause of Schmidt's mysterious illness comes from audio recordings of the Apollo 17 mission. Shortly before Schmidt starts feeling unwell, he reports smelling something like gunpowder. Smells like gunpowder. The strange gunpowder odor has also been detected by astronauts on two prior NASA missions. We know what the gunpowder smell is. Other Apollo missions have reported it too. It's moon dust. So the connection had to be the lunar dust that created a problem for Jack. Lunar dust is jagged, it's got static, it clings to everything. As Schmidt explored the lunar surface, dust covered his suit and equipment. I've stirred it up with my feet. That, that is really orange. It appears he then inhaled a lungful of the sharp, ultra-dry shards. If it gets into the bloodstream, it could scavenge the oxygen out of the blood and make it much worse than just a sniffle. It actually could kill you. A few hours later, Schmidt's symptoms begin to ease. But he must wait until he returns to Earth to discover how much damage the toxic dust has done to his airways. <laughs> you just have to tough it out. There's not a thing you can do. You're stuck to a flight plan that's in concrete. At 10.54 p.m. on December 14th, Schmidt and his fellow astronauts begin their perilous journey back home. Four days later, the Apollo 17 module splashes down in the South Pacific Ocean. NASA medics who inspect the crew find no evidence of bacterial contamination and conclude that Schmidt suffered some kind of allergic reaction to the lunar dust. A reaction that has potentially disastrous implications for any future human activity on the moon. If we're gonna go back to the moon for a long time, we need to get a handle on this dust issue. Maybe millions of people are allergic to lunar dust. We just don't know.